Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to pass GST entries for interstate and intrastate in Tally Prime. The way we pass these entries are almost same only when compared to Tally ERP9. But still, I'll show you how to do it. Here, first, let me create a new company. Now, please remember the definition of state becomes very important now. GST company. You have to define state very nicely, Karnataka, India, okay, because that will determine whether it is interstate or industry. So you have to make sure that you define it correctly. So our company is in Karnataka. Everything is yes, except now here let everything be yes only, and GST also let it be yes only. And once you create yes, this one becomes like this GST video account. State is Karnataka, regular type. Uh, SSC of other territory, please make sure it is no right now. WL form GST and here. Yeah. This is a 10 digit alphanumeric number that is unique to every company that is registered for GST. Okay, so let me put 10 digit random number on. I just gave a random number, I do not have any GST number. So verify the company GSTIN. Okay, you will be lovely here. Make it no right now. You can make it yes also. That is for if you are, you know, for giving the email bill notice. All the companies are doing that. Yeah, this one. Set alter GST date details. Please make it at yes. What is this? The moment we set it as yes, we will be, uh, you know, putting uh, the defining the GST at the company level. Company level is the highest level at which the GST rate can be defined. So whatever is sold within this country or bought within this country this rate will be applicable okay so if you press enter it will take you to gst details for company screen here you have to define what is the description of it what is the hsn number of it taxability whether the on general um, this umbrella level whether it, it is taxable or not and if it is taxable what is the rate if you do not see your screen like this kindly go to f12 here and make sure that first one and the last one is yes if both are yes you will see like this otherwise you may see a little bit more or less of the information okay so let me sell computers we are selling suppose hs number is given a random number okay if you are working a practical company you will have these numbers taxability make it taxable rate suppose 28 percent so integrated tax that is the total tax integrated tax is applicable for interstate transaction that means from karnataka to Gujarat, Karnataka to Kolkata, West Bengal, you know, these are interstate transaction. Indicated tax will be applicable. Otherwise, your other two central tax and state tax will be applicable for intrastate, that is within the state. See, the one that press enter, both becomes 1440, that is 50 80%. Says if you have kindly put, otherwise press enter. Accept, yes. Company created successfully. Sorry, my mistake. No, accept. Yes. So we have created a company, GST company. Now let me create some basic uh, ledgers. How to make purchase. Purchase, under purchase. Purchase, not applicable. GST applicable, yes. No need to set auto, otherwise you will set the GST rate over here, okay? Let it be goods. If it's a service, select service, no problem. Then sales. The sales applicable, it's a goods again. Okay, sales also accepted. Then Ram Lal, maybe the, he's the adapter. Actually, sorry, creator. First one is creator. He's a creator. Maintain bill by bill. Please make it yes. You can set his no also. Here you have to define his area where he is working. Okay, he's in Karnataka. Okay, fine. Okay, so Karnataka. He's in Karnataka. So we have to define the state here, which becomes very important. On the basis of this, the tally will take either to take integrated tax or the central and state tax. Okay, pin code if you have, please give. PAN number if you have, please give. Here you have to define regular GST number for this fellow. I have to give 29. This is a random number I'm giving. Set alter GST, make it yes. I just keep on pressing enter. So Ramlal is done as creators. Now let me do Shamlal. Shamlal. 
as doctor yes i get here also karnataka take it is the number you know yes keep on pressing enter for the screen this is it all right okay so accept it so these are for interest let me set one interstate person also maybe rogers or just go and we can be created okay or just go is created and its state is maybe i'll change it to Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Well, because I don't know another plant. I'll just put in some random number. Accept. Yes. Okay. So this Rogers company, Rogers Co. is interstate. Okay. So here the IGST will have to give. We'll see that later. All right. So guys, we have already done the ledgers that we needed now let us go to the voucher and pass entries let's go to voucher let us go to purchase first let us purchase pur pur1 party name can be first purchase will be ram rao okay okay this detail can be put otherwise leave it then we're doing purchase what are we buying have you created the item no we have not created items. So let us create computers. So under computers, we will write HP X X series. You can make a group also here. I will not make not a quantity you have to make. Applicable is create UTY UTY or online quantity. See, quantity is important here, but once you write that. This UCQ comes here. You have to choose one. Okay, you must choose one. One. So what is the that is very you know close to quantity? If I write Q U, there is quintal. These are not thing I'm needed. I'm looking for maybe pieces. Pieces is close to quantity. So let me choose pieces. PCS. Okay, and make the first component of PCS. See. Pieces okay, zero fine. Is this applicable? Yes, set alter. No, if you set it yes over here, then the GST will be applied from this rate on this X series exactly. Okay, this is at the item level. No, it's a goods. Okay, fine. Yes, okay, suppose we bought 100 piece at the rate 45,000. Okay, total became 44,50,000. Sorry. And full close 50 lakhs. Press enter and press enter once more. Then you write C. We have created or not? No, we have not created the tax register. So let me create. Let me make CGST. CGST, it's under duties and taxes. What is that? It's a GST, it's a central tax. Other things just press enter. See, it has automatically calculated the rate. Then again, I have to calculate SGST that I have not created. Let me create SGST. SGST duties. It is GST again. This one is your state tax. See, so GST has been calculated for state as well as for the uh, center. Press enter. Accept. Yes. So we have passed the first entry for purchase. So let me pass, pass one for interstate also okay so interstate pur2 is that that is rogers rogers from different state purchase hp hpx series i'm buying suppose i'm buying 50 from him okay now if i put here cgst it will not calculate why because the delhi prime is saying it is not interstate but it is interstate so here we need another uh, duty register that is called igst indicated tax okay indicated gst duties and tax 
is GST and this one is integrated tax. Please define it here. Now, if I do that, see, straight away 60,000, sorry, 63 lakhs has been uh, put as IGST. Press enter, it is save. So, guys, that was your interstate purchase. Now, let me do a sales. Sales, let me do up to Shamal. Sales, let's be exceeding. Suppose I'm selling in time quantity at the rate is continue. CGST, SGST, it will calculate by itself. You don't have to worry. That is one. Okay, so we have cost three entries. Let me now show you what is the GST report. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to report to and see the GST, you check the GST report. For purchase the GST R2 and for sales the GST R1. See for sales GST R1 nothing is shown here. Why? Because there is an issue. See here. Uncertain transaction. Correction needed. So we have to do some correction. Uh, I guess this is because we have provided a wrong GST. So here the screen comes. Now click here Alt B. Accept GST I number. It will ask you, do you want to skip GSTIN validation for this voucher? Please select it as yes. And once it is done, then you can see in the GSTR1, your total sales is given 50 lakhs, total taxable amount is 14 lakhs, total invoice is 64 lakhs. It is shown here. Okay. Similarly, go to GSTR report. GSTR2 is for purchase. Here everything is shown here. All F1 will give you detailed view. So this is the purchase and this is the total GST. Yeah. You can see one is this one, one is this one, so everything is see. So this is how you see your GSTR1 and GSTR2 report. Okay. Uh, please try and uh, if you have any issue, kindly comment. Thank you.